Okay, welcome back. Um, I want to talk to you about exporting out your files. Um, and I want to explain to you what Lightroom does and does not do to your images. Okay? Um, let me pull over to the develop module real quick. Whatever we do to our images, whether it's white balance, whether exposure, clarity, um, tone curve, black and white, split toning, sharpening, noise reduction, highlighting, um, calibration, which is down here. No matter what we do to our images, uh, our original file, the raw image, is completely unchanged. It is exactly the same as it was when you hit the shutter button and it's saved on your camera card in your camera. The only thing that we have done is we have added in sort of virtual edits. Okay, All of the pixels are completely unharmed, unchanged, exactly as originals. And we have done all of our edits. If we look in history, we can see the edits that we did. I imported it. I synchronized the settings. And you know what? If you watch up here, you can see what I did to change it. I synchronized the settings. I pasted them. I gave it a new crop angle. I added a brush stroke. I changed the exposure adjustment on my brush stroke. I added another brush stroke and I updated my exposure adjustment on that. And that's what I've done to this one image. Okay. Um, so all of those things that I did to this image, this image is still the original import and you know what this imported and added my clarity noise reduction and vignette but before that there still is all of the original pixels from the raw image okay um, so in order to use our files our images outside of Lightroom we need to export them out okay so there's a couple different ways you can do that if you want well first of all let's go to the library module Okay, I did that up here, library module. I'm going to select all of my images. Okay, and um, I can I can click on export right here, or I can come up to the file menu, and you can do this file menu from the develop module as well. Um, I come up here, I click on file, and this third fourth segment down, we have um, some export way. Um, options that we have. We have export here that will bring up a dialog. This export works exactly the same as the big export button down here. Okay, um, I can export with previous. That means if I have just exported something out and I want these photos to go to the exact same location with the exact same options, um, I can click this and it will automatically start it or I can export with preset. I have a number of presets already saved and some of them are part of Lightroom. Okay, um, These are my Lightroom presets that come with it. Then I have client export and user presets. The difference in those, um, it just happened that I've had Lightroom since um, a number of versions ago and one of those versions started adding them as user presets instead of the one that I started client export and it's okay they're all ones that were created by me um, all of these client export ones are specific to my clients and my work and my user ones are sort of my temporary ones for the most part um, these are not related to things that I do with client images so I leave them in separate um, groupings here okay so this is the Beauty and the Beast um, and I think the first thing I will do is a web export so we can start getting them on Facebook. The parents are really excited to see them. Um, and that would be this bottom one. If I were to click this right now, it will immediately start the export and I will not see the dialog box. So I am not going to do that because I want you to see the dialog. So I am going to click this export dot dot dot. It brings up my dialog box. I'll give you a little tour first. Um, this up here are my presets. These are the same presets as we saw when we had the flyout menu come over here for um, export with preset. Okay, um, I could have done that very quickly and very easily for the Beauty and the Beast ones here because uh, a number of weeks ago when we did um, the very first photos for promotion for um, 
our advertising, I created a Web Beauty and the Beast and a full resolution JPEG. Um, well, they're both JPEG, but a full resolution um, JPEG version of the, um, the Beauty and the Beast. And part of what I saved in those is the location on my hard drive where I will save them. Um, I also know that I always want to add those to my catalog so I can search for my JPEGs as well. Um, I do that so that if they are in a different folder from my original raw images, um, when I search for those images, I can always right click on an image and tell it that I want to view it in Explorer or go to that catalog in Lightroom um, so I can find others that were taken at the same time, okay? Or others that belong to that same event. Um, existing files, if I've already exported them out, um, you can ask. I usually just leave it as ask what to do. But occasionally if I want to re-export, I've screwed something up, I put a, put a watermark on it or a preset or something I didn't want, I can overwrite without warning and it'll rewrite everything for me. Okay. I choose to rename uh, my images on export when they are coming in you'll see that they are still the original um, raw image straight from my camera name and I do that for because when I do client images I don't want big gaps in my numbers if there was a segment of photos that I didn't want them to see or they just didn't work out for whatever reason I want my number my final ones to have a sequential um, numbering or something that's organized without big gaps. So I export them out um, and change the names when I export. Okay, There are some options with that. I have chosen to do a custom name with original file number. And that is so that I can dump all of the Beauty and the Beast images in the same RAW folder, in the same JPEG folder, in the same web folder, and not worry about um, making a new folder in my hierarchy for every single um, event. Okay, we had two rehearse or two performances, one dress rehearsal, and some promotional pictures, and I'm just dumping them all into one place. Okay, that'll make it easier for me when I'm doing um, burning a disk as well. Okay, so I have all of these images renamed. Um, or they will be renamed Beauty Beast 7267. And actually, I would like to show you the web um, variety first because um, I want you to see some of the options that I choose for that. So when I clicked on web, it will put it now into a subfolder web under the JPEG hierarchy of Beauty and the Beast in my church and school folder of my Drive K. I am not adding my web versions to this catalog. You'll see that my custom text has changed to have web in front of Beauty Beast. Um, my, oops, my image format is JPEG. I'm leaving quality 100 and you'll see I, it's not necessary to change that. You'll see why. Because I'm going to resize it here. I have opted to resize a thousand pixels on the long edge. There's your options, width and height, dimensions, long edge, short edge, and megapixels. If I were to choose width and height, I could fill in then both of these variables. But we'll go back to long edge, 1000 pixels, and resolution 150. Um, those are what I found work well for Facebook. Uh, a number of months ago, Facebook changed the way they process images, and these settings were actually different back then, and I've had to change that on my preset. Okay. When I, re when I changed my presets, if you want to change it, you can just update with current settings to um, update it. Okay, I am not sharpening upon out output because during the developing time, I actually have done a slight sharpening and it would just be overkill. Your option in options for sharpening are screen, matte paper, and glossy paper. Okay. I'm going to uncheck it because I choose not to sharpen these. Um, for watermarking, I can put my simple watermark on the bottom, Karen's watermark bottom. This is a preset that I created. Um, and then um, this right here, this watermark option is new. It is new in Lightroom 4. If you do not have Lightroom 4 and you have Lightroom 2 or 3, then you will want to use a plugin 
in order to get watermarking on your photos. Okay, the plugin that I have chosen to use is called LRMography, um, and I have purchased it. Um, I will, sh I would show you the plugin manager, but if I do that, then it'll show you the serial number, and I don't think the Mography people would appreciate that. Um, but what this program does is um, it gives you options. Okay, so one thing it will do is it could create borders, outer borders for you. Um, in order for me to use this, I have not used the Mography in Lightroom 4. In order for me to use this, I would have to hit insert right now for outer borders, um, inner borders. So um, you can do a white and a black inner and outer border. Um, you can add your watermark over top of it, the same as this watermark would be. You can change the dimensions, some of the things that you're able to do up here. Um, and then you can change, the, you, can, you can do other things, but I don't suggest using all of these because it's just as easy to use your Lightroom dialog to do some of those, okay? So really the only things I use Mography for is the outer and inner border and the graphic watermarks, okay? And your watermark can be a simple text. You just have to create it and add it in. Um, and there's, it, it does walk you through that process when you're using it, okay? So um, I will export these out. I'm going to hit pause on the video. I'm going to come back in and show you um, what the difference is to export them out as just full JPEGs and then um, we'll be done and if you have questions you can let me know. All right, let me hit pause on the video real quick. Okay, so my web export has just finished and um, I am going to then change that export to be, you know what, you've seen the dialogue. Um, I'm going to change that export. This time I'm going to do it with preset um, Beauty and the Beast JPEGs, and these are the full JPEGs. So when I click on that, it will change it, to change the checkbox to say add to this catalog. Um, it will not put the watermark on them. Um, it's going to change the directory where it's going. It's not going to be in the web folder anymore. And it will also um, uncheck the box that um, says to resize. So I'll just click on it and it will prepare to export and it's just going to do it like that for me and now um, I am free to multitask while that's working I can multitask okay so um, that's pretty much it for now um, on exporting um, the only other um, I guess no, I have one other thing to say if you were planning on printing you can do that directly from Lightroom you do not need to export out to be a JPEG um, you can print directly from the data that is in Lightroom you can also export directly to web um, without first creating the JPEGs um, or other files so you can go out and it will just create it basically creates a JPEG as it sends it to the web so um, when you're doing these other or book um, when you're doing these other modules here, um, you actually don't need to export them out as um, JPEGs first. You can just um, use them in Lightroom, but then Lightroom is managing your files. If you want any other program to use them or manage them besides Photoshop, um, then you need to export it out. And if you want Photoshop to edit it, there's actually a better way to do it, um, and that's by right-clicking on the actual image and then edit in Photoshop, and it'll bring it back into Lightroom for you edited. Um, it'll also give it a new name with the word edit after it, and it will save it as a TIFF file. So um, oh, here we go. It opened up for book. Um, yeah, well, there's a page limit on that. I was just going to show you book, and it allows you to um, drop in and make your own little books from templates that you have created. Um, but, um, and it's just dropping in one image right here per, um, I don't have it set up properly. But that's another thing you can do without actually exporting it out um, as a JPEG. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. I put it back here to the library module. We don't need to work on a book. Um, and just contact me if you need anything else. Thanks. Bye.